Acid Base Equilibrium, Part 7, Section 1. What is the meaning of titration? Titration is a process where we use a solution of known concentration put in general in the burette to calculate the unknown concentration of another solution put in general in the beaker. The conditions of titrations are three. The reaction between them, between the solution unknown and the solution known, should be complete, fast, and unique. Complete, that means if the stoichiometry of the reaction is 1, 1, 1, 1, K of the reaction, the equilibrium constant of the reaction, Kr, should be greater than 10 to the power 6. Fast is related to the kinetic. So when you add from the burette a drop of the solution to the beaker, the reaction should not take time to end. The reaction should be fast and unique. That means when you add from the burette to the beaker, you have only one reaction and you don't have secondary reactions. When we add acid to base, we have a complete reaction fast and unique. So we have the conditions of the titration. At certain addition, the number of moles of HCO plus is equal to the number of moles of OH minus. So we say that titration reach the equivalence point or the end point. The progress of the acid-base reaction can be followed by two methods. One is to measure the pH of the solution after each addition. For example, we have HCl in a beaker, which is a strong acid, NaOH in the burette, which is a strong base. When we add NaOH to HCl, HCO plus will react with OH minus. So HCO plus in the solution will be changed. Therefore, pH will be changed. And when we measure the pH, we draw at the end of the titration the variation of the pH as a function of the volume added. And we obtain a curve. From this curve, we calculate the pH E at equivalence and the volume at equivalence. The second method is to use, instead of the pH meter, is to add some indicators to, deta to detect the equivalence point. At equivalence, the solution will turn its color from color one to color two, so we can detect the volume at equivalence only. When we use indicator, we cannot detect the pH at equivalence. Base indicator. Indicator is a substance used to distinguish between acidic and basic solutions. The indicator is a mixture of the acid and its conjugate base HA A minus. And in case of indicator, it's preferred to write the notation HIN IN minus. Where HIN has a color one and its conjugate base IN minus has another color. Since HIN and IN minus is a couple acid base that can contribute to the reactions in our system, 
For this reason, the indicator is introduced in small quantities or in a few drops. The observed color of the solution depends on the ratio of the two folds. If HIN is a predominant on NI, IN minus, we will observe the color HIN and vice versa. So the acid base equilibrium of indicator is the following HIN plus H2O that gives H2O plus plus IN minus. HIN has color one, IN minus has color two. If we add, for example, HCO plus, or we pass to low value of pH, the equilibrium will shift backward in direction two, according to Le Chatelier principle, and the color of the solution is color one. Or when we add base, it will react with HCO plus, so HCO plus will decrease, that means the pH will increase, and the equilibrium will shift in direction one, and we will have the color two of the base I and minus. Since the indicator and its conjugate base for a couple H I N I N minus, so it's characterized by the equilibrium constant, which is equal to the concentration of HCO plus in the solution times I N minus solution divided by H I N. And the presence of H I N and its conjugate base allow to calculate the pH according to Henderson formula, pH equal pKa of the couple H I N I N minus plus log I N minus divided by H I N at equilibrium. If H I N is a predominant on I N minus, that means H I N is a greater at least 10 times than I N minus. So the ratio I N minus divided by H I N is less or equal 10, and therefore the pH is less or equal pKa minus 1. So if the pH of the solution is less than pKa minus 1, that means H I N predominates on I N minus, and therefore we have the color 1. If I N minus is a predominant on H I N, so I N minus greater at least 10 times, I N minus divided by H I N is a greater or equal 10, and therefore the pH is a greater or equal pKa plus 1. So if the pH of the solution is a greater or equal pKa of the couple H I N, I n minus plus one, that means I n minus predominates and we have color two. So according to the scale of the pH, when the pH of the solution is less than pKa minus one, so H i n persists and we have the color one. And for pH greater than pKa plus one, we have H i, we have I n minus, with color 2. In the domain of pKa minus 1 and pKa plus 1, we have what we say codominance between HIN and IN minus. In the acid base titration, the most important is to detect the variation of the color at V equivalence or at pHe equivalence. So the best indicator used is that where pHe, the pH at equivalence of the titration, is in the domain 
pKa minus 1 and pKa plus 1. In this domain, we can observe the variation or the change of the color. Suppose that the pH at equivalence belongs to the domain less than pKa minus 1. That means we reach equilibrium and the color of the solution is the color of HIN, so we cannot detect the variation of the color or the equivalence point. So the best indicator is that where pH at equivalence belong to the pKa minus 1 and pKa plus 1 of the indicator, and this domain is called the pH change range of the indicator. But independent of this rule, some indicators can be used if they change their colors at the volume added at equivalence. Consider the following titration of strong base by strong acid. The pH at equivalence is 7 and the volume at equivalence is 100 milliliters. Since the pH at equivalence is 7, we have to use an indicator where the pH change range is between 6 and 8. But the experiment proved that phenolphthalein can be used as indicator in this type of titration. And phenolphthalein has a pH change range from 8 to 10. At point A, the phenolphthalein can change its color. And since the jump is perpendicular, so the point A is the same as the volume at equivalence. So when we, when we are at equivalence, we can say we are at the point A, so the phenolephthalein can be changed, can change its color, and we will detect the equivalence point. By the same way, the method red indicator can be used in the titration of strong base by strong acid, even the pH change range is between 4 and 6. Because at point B, which is the same as the equivalence point, the method red will change its color and we will detect the equivalence point. In any acid-based titration, we have to write the reaction taking place. For example, the titration of strong base with a strong acid, the reaction is OH minus plus HCO plus that gives 2H2O. We calculate K of the reaction is equal 1 over OH minus times HCO plus equal 1 over KW. So K equal 10 to the power 14, and the reaction is complete. The apparatus of the titration, we need a magnetic stirrer and Erlenmeyer and magnet to stir the solution. So in the Erlenmeyer, we put in general the solution to titrate that we call analyte, and in the burette, we put the titrant solution. So at the beginning, in the Erlenmeyer, we have H plus, and the color of the indicator will, will be that of HIN, suppose the blue. When we add OH minus to the Erlenmeyer, so OH minus will react with HCO plus according to the complete reaction. So HCO plus in the solution decrease and the color will be less intense. When the reaction reach the equilibrium, so we pass to the basic 
medium and the color will be the color of I and minus. So at equivalence, we can detect the change of the color in this figure from blue to purple. In the lab, when we use phenolphthalein, phenolphthalein in the acidic form is colorless. When we add OH minus, the solution will turn to purple. When phenolphthalein is in acidic medium, the solution is colorless. When the solution is basic, so the color become purple and we can detect the equivalence point. Titration calculations. Consider the titration of strong acid and strong base. We have a complete reaction, H2O plus plus OH minus, that gives 2H2O. So the acid is in the beaker and the base is in the buret. And we measure the value of the pH. Before addition of OH minus, we have uh, H2O plus in the solution, so the pH is, is acidic. When OH minus is added to H2O plus, H2O plus will decrease. That means the pH will increase. At equivalence, all H2O plus has been reacted and we will have OH minus in excess. So that pH will pass from pH acidic to pH basic and we will observe a jump. The volume at equivalence and the pH at equivalence are calculated by the parallel tangent rule. So the stoichiometric ratio of the reaction of titration number of mole of H2O plus reacted divided by 1 equal number of mole of OH minus reacted divided by 1. At equivalence, all the acid present in the beaker has been reacted with the base added from the buret. So instead of NH, NHCO plus reacted, we can put NHCO plus initial divided by 1, equal NOH minus added divided by 1, implies the initial concentration of the acid times the initial volume of the acid is equal to the concentration of the base times the volume of the base added at equivalence. Domain of predominance of species during the titration process. Consider the titration curve of the strong acid HCl by the strong base NaOH. For, for a volume of the base added between 0 and 25 milliliter, HCO plus is predominant. The pH is acidic. For a volume greater than 25, the pH is basic and OH minus will be predominant. So between 0 and 25, we have HCO plus predominant. Greater than 25, we have OH minus predominant. If we study the diagram of repartition of species according to the pH, when we add OH minus to HCO plus, the concentration of HCO plus will decrease and the pH will increase. So as we add OH minus, the pH increase and HCO plus will decrease till the pH 7, we don't have HCO plus species. And 
at the same time, when OH minus is added to H3O plus, it will be consumed because OH minus is limiting, but the concentration of OH minus in the solution will increase till the pH 7 where it reached its maximum 100%. At pH 7, we have complete conversion of H2O plus to H2O. Suppose we inverse the order of solutions. We put the base, the strong base in the beaker and the strong acid in the burette. So the same reaction takes place, H2O plus plus OH minus gives 2H2O, but the pH will start from the pH basic, since we have OH minus in the solution. As we add H2O plus, OH minus will be consumed, and the pH will decrease. Then at equivalence, we have a jump, then HCO plus is in excess. So between 0 and 25 milliliter, we have OH minus. At 25 milliliter, we have H2O. And greater than 25 milliliter volume added, we have HCO plus that predominates. Titration of a weak acid by a strong base. When a strong base is added to a weak acid HA, the following reaction takes place. HA plus OH minus gives A minus plus H2O. K of the reaction is equal to product divided by the reactant is equal A minus divided by HA times OH minus equal KA divided by KW. If K of the reaction is greater than to the power 6, so this reaction is complete. The shape of the titration curve of a weak acid by strong base presents two inflection points. The first at the starting and the second is at equivalence. And this is a way to distinguish between the titration curve of weak acid with a strong base of the titration of the strong acid with a strong base. The volume at equivalence and the pH at equivalence are calculated by the parallel tangent rule. The stoichiometric ratio for this reaction, the number of mole of HA reacted divided by 1, equal number of mole of OH minus reacted divided by 1. At equivalence, all acid HA has been reacted with the base added from the burette, so we can write the number of mole of HA initial divided by 1, equal the number of mole of OH minus added divided by 1. So C acid initial times B acid initial equal CB times the volume of the base added at equivalence. Consider the titration of a weak acid by strong base. For example, acetic acid with OH minus gives acetate and H2O, and we obtain the following curve. At T equals zero, before the addition of the base, we have in solution only acetic acid. So the pH is acidic. When we add OH minus, the concentration of acetic acid will decrease, that of acetate will increase. 
So we will have a mixture between acetic acid and its conjugate base, acetate. At the volume equal to A, all acetic acid has been reacted to acetate. So the number of moles of acetate at equivalence is equal to the initial number of moles of acetic acid. Therefore, the concentration of acetate at equivalence is equal to the number of moles of acetate at equivalence divided by B total equal number of mole of acetic acid initial divided by B total, so equal C0, V0 divided by V total, which is the initial volume of the acid plus 2A. Add V of base added greater than 2A, we will have the acetate formed at equivalence plus the OH minus, which is in excess. So we will have a mixture of two bases. But since OH minus is a stronger base than acetate, so the OH minus will determine the pH of the final solution. Now we have to calculate the pH formula in each domain of addition of base. At V equals zero, the initial point, before the addition of OH minus, we have only in the solution acetic acid, which is a weak acid. So if the initial concentration of the acid is a greater or equal 100 times Ka of the couple, we can apply the formula pH equal half pKa plus pC0 or pH, pH equal half pKa minus log C0. Between the initial point and the equivalence, we have a mixture between acetic acid and acetate. So we can apply Henderson formula, pH equal pKa of the couple plus log acetate divided by acetic acid. And to know that at any point, between 0 and 2A, we have a certain concentration of the acid in solution and a certain concentration of the base in the solution, so we have different value of pH. For example, we apply Henderson at this point, and we apply Henderson at this point, but the value of the pH at these two points are different. To note that for a volume of the base added equal A, we convert the half of the acetic acid to acetate. So the acetic acid is equal to acetate in the solution, and at this point, pH equal pK. At equivalence, all acetic acid has been transformed to acetate and acetate is basic. So the pH at equivalence will be greater than seven. So this is the pH of a weak base. By the same way, we calculate the concentration of acetate, which is equal to C0 V0 divided by V0 plus two A and we calculate the pH of weak base for this concentration. When we have acetate, which is a base, it's better to calculate the pOH. So we compare the concentration of acetate at this point 
with the value of Kb of the couple acetic acid acetate. If the concentration of the base at equivalence is greater or equal 100 times Kb of the couple acetic acid acetate, we apply directly the formula POH equal have PKB plus P of the concentration of the base at equivalence or pH equal half PKB minus half log C of the base at equivalence. After a volume to A, we have to calculate the number of OH minus the number of moles of OH minus in excess. The number of mole OH minus in excess is equal to the total number of mole of OH minus added minus the number of mole of OH minus consumed till the equivalence. And we obtain the number of mole of OH minus in excess. We divide by the V total at this point. So we will have the concentration of OH minus at this point. Therefore, POH in the solution equal minus the concentration OH minus in excess, and we calculate the value of POH, then we deduce pH. Domain of predominance in the titration of weak acid by strong base. Consider a weak acid HA in a beaker and we add a strong base from the burette. Before the addition of the strong base, we have a reaction of dissociation of weak acid in water, HA plus H2O, that gives A minus plus HCO plus, and the couple HA A minus is characterized by Ka equal A minus HCO plus divided by HA, and the pH of the solution can be deduced from the Henderson equation, pH equal pKa plus log A minus in the solution divided by HA in the solution. When we add a base, OH minus will react with HA. So HA will be changed and we have formation of A minus. So the concentration A minus divided by HA will be changed and therefore the pH take a new value different from the initial. If the value of the pH is equal to pKa, that means log A minus divided by HA equal 0. So A minus divided by HA concentration equal 1, and HA in the solution is therefore equal A minus in the solution. And if the value of the pH obtained is less than pKa, that means by the same way, HA in the solution is greater than A minus in the solution. And if the pH value greater than pKa, HA in the solution is less than A minus in the solution. So according to the value of the pH we determine in the solution, we can have different domain, domains of predominance. If the pH of the solution is less than pKa minus 1 of the couple, in this case, the acid form HA predominates. And if the pH obtained is greater than pKa of the couple plus 1, the basic form a minus predominate. And in the value in the inter, in the domain PKA minus one, PKA plus one, we have 
codominance between H A and A minus. If we inverse the scale of the pH on a vertical scale, we obtain the same the same observations or the same domains, and this is called the ladder diagram. In other words, we can write the predominance domain on horizontal pH scale or on vertical pH scale. Diagram of repartition of species in the case of the titration of weak acid by strong base. Consider the following titration, the following curve of the titration of weak acid by strong base. And we want to study the diagram of repartition of different forms of acetic acid according to the pH. From this curve, as the pH is between 0 and 3, we have acetic acid. So from pH 0 to 3, we have acetic acid and 100%, and we have 0% acetate. At pH 3, when we add base, acetic acid will decrease and be transformed to acetate. So at pH 3, when we add OH minus, so when we increase the pH, the acetic acid decrease, that of acetate increase. Till the pH approximately equal 8, so at pH around this value, at pH 8, we have 100% of acetic, of acetate, and we have practically 0% of acetic acid. So from this curve, we calculated the real value of the, of the pH of conversion of acetic acid to acetate at pH 6.5, we have complete conversion to acetic acid of acetic acid to acetate. If we return to the curve, the value 6.5 is at this point. So at this point, we are at equivalence practically so all acetic acid has been transformed to acetate. In some books, they write the domain of predominance of species only according to pKa and not according to pKa minus 1 and pKa plus 1. They said if the pH is less than pKa, the acidic form predominates, or if the pH is greater than pKa of the couple, the basic form predominates. At pH equal pKa, the acid form is equal to the base form. Consider the titration of a weak base in a beaker and a strong acid in the burette we obtain the following titration curve. Suppose the base weak is ammonia and the strong acid added is HCO plus. Before the addition of the strong acid, we have a weak base in the beaker, so the pH will be basic. After addition of the strong acid, ammonia concentration will decrease and the pH will decrease till the equivalence we will have a jump then we will have the strong acid in excess in this figure. So at V equals zero we have ammonia of volume V0 and concentration 
C0. So the pH at the beginning will be the pH of the weak base ammonia. At V equal V equivalence, all ammonia has been transformed to NH4 plus. So the concentration of NH4 plus at equivalence is equal to the number of moles of H NH4 plus at equivalence divided by B total and the number of mole of NH4 plus at equivalence is equal to the initial number of mole of ammonia and V total is equal V0 plus V equivalence. Between the volume equal zero and V equivalence we will have a mixture between NH3 and NH4 plus, so we can apply Henderson formula, pH equal pKa of the couple plus log ammonia in solution divided by ammonium in solution. Now we have to pass to the calculation of the formula of the pH. At V equals zero, we have ammonia of known volume and C0. So the solution is basic. We compare the initial concentration of ammonia to the value of Kb. If C0 is greater or equal 100 times Kb, we apply directly the relation POH equal half pKb plus pc0. From volume between zero and V equivalence, we have a mixture between NH3 and NH4 plus, the acid and its conjugate base. So we apply the Henderson formula, pH equal pKa of the couple NH4 plus NH3 plus log NH3 in solution divided by NH4 plus in solution. At equivalence, we have NH4 plus that we calculated its concentration equal C0 V0 divided by V0 plus V equivalence. So we have a weak acid and the pH will be acidic, so less than 7. We compare the concentration of NH4 plus at equivalence with the value of Ka of the couple NH4 plus NH3. If this concentration is greater or equal 100 times Ka, we apply directly the relation pH equal half pKa of the couple plus P, the concentration at equivalence. And for volume, greater than V equivalence, we will have a mixture of NH4 plus that is formed at equivalence plus the HCO plus in excess. So we have a mixture between two acids, one weak NH4 plus and one strong HCO plus, and we know that the pH is, that the acid is strong will determine the pH of the solution. So by the same way as initial, we have to calculate the concentration of HCO plus in excess. We calculated first the number of mole of HCO plus in excess, with, which is equal to the total number of mole of HCO plus added minus the number of moles of HCO plus consumed till the equivalence. Then we divide by V total, which is equal to V0 plus the volume added. So we calculated the concentration of HCO plus in the solution in excess. Therefore, we apply pH equal minus log HCO plus in excess.